Hey guys, Pastor Mike here. In every single sporting event you either participate in or watch, there are penalties or fouls or whatever you want to call them. Things that people do that go against the rules. What a penalty is when you come to these sports. In, in football, when a team gets holding called on the offense, that's a penalty. That means that someone, an offensive lineman or someone else, held on to the jersey of their opponent, which is not allowed. You basically broke the rules. And so when you think of other sports too, you think of basketball, right? For basketball, you have to take foul shots. Well, why do you have to take foul shots? Well, because someone elbowed you in the face and so that's not allowed and so that is a foul and so that is a no-no. And when you think about all these other sports and all these penalties, I can't help but think about life because in life there are penalties as well. People describe life as a game, but this game has some real consequences, and that is eternal consequences. And so today, I'm going to share with you guys this thing called penalties of life. And so, we're going to answer some three questions here today. We're going to answer this. What is a penalty when it comes to this game of life? What are the penalties of life? And then what is the cost? Because when you think of, again, with the sports there's a cost to committing penalties. In hockey, you have to go to the penalty box for two minutes or five minutes, depending on what you commit. In football, it's yardage. In basketball, it's foul shots. And so there's a cost associated when it comes to these penalties. So what is a penalty? Well, for life, a penalty is this, an action that goes against the rules. An action that goes against the rules. Well what are the rules for this life? Well, let's keep going here with the question. What are the penalties of life? This will help us understand. It's this, sin, like stealing, like cheating, like lying, those are forms of penalties. The rule is very clear when it comes to this. The Bible is our source, it's our, like our rule book, our playbook for this game of life. And in there, there are rules that we have to follow and if we do not follow those rules that means we commit what we call a sin because sin is anything that goes against what God wants his rules and so what is the cost of this the cost is eternal separation from God now when we say eternal now that word is kind of hard to understand when we say eternal it means forever that means forever quarter, half time, third quarter, fourth quarter, no, nine innings, none of that stuff. Forever means forever. We all get penalties called against us. We all get flags thrown against us. It's not just one group of people or another group of people. It's not your mom or not just your dad. It's not just your brother or sister. It's everyone. And how do I know this? Well, let's go back to the rule book, right? The Bible. In Romans 3.23, it says this, for all have sinned, because sin, remember, is the penalties in this life. And so we all have sinned. When it comes to this game of life, there's no such thing as a perfect game. You just can't live a perfect life. You could try, but no matter how hard you try, you're all going to sin. How do I know this? Because, and again, going back to the, the playbook, the Bible, in Romans 3.23, the second part of that verse, it says, and fall short of the glory of God. So we all have sin, we all commit penalties, and we all fall short of God's glory. It doesn't matter if you think you're gonna try to do your best, all right? It's good to be your best, but there is gonna be time where you're gonna commit sin. Here's the amazing thing about this all, you guys. It gives me hope for the game of that we're playing here, the game of life, that you do not have the skills to win the game. Wait, huh? how does that make sense? How does that give us hope? Well, let's look at what the playbook says in Ephesians 2, 8 through 9. It says this, and this is not for yourself. It is God's gift, not from your works so that no one can boast. So what that verse is saying is this, it's not on us to win at this game. It's not, it's on God and what he has done for us to help us win this game. Because what did God do for us? 
He sent his son Jesus. And by believing in him, that's how you win at this game. How can you win? Ephesians 2.8 says that. For you are saved by grace through faith in Jesus Christ. And this is not for yourself. It's God's gift. Not from your own works so that no one can boast. So when we think about life, we all are going to have penalties. We are all going to sin. But the amazing thing is, it's not up to us, but it's because of what God did for us. And by believing in Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior, that he died on the cross and rose again for our sin, by believing in that, we can win. And what's the prize? It's eternal life with God. We could be in heaven forever with God. And that is the biggest win ever. That's way better than any Super Bowl, way better than any Stanley Cup, way better than anything you can possibly imagine. We're gonna get penalties called upon us, good or bad. That's just what's gonna happen in this life. But it's up to you guys, try to your best not to get so many penalties called against you. If you do get a penalty called against you, you're forgiven. Why? Because of what Jesus did for you. And you can take that all the way home.